I have age restricted this video because it's going to get highly graphic. I have created my own index cards with very specific fantasies and terminology. So if you have kids in, around, or present of your space, I would watch this after they go to bed because it not censored. I do offer private readings if you're interested, including the sexy readings. However, if you're a creepy man, there is a $50 upcharge. Please do not be in my inbox talking about won't you get naked. No. And just in case you weren't taking me seriously, I was cut from side to side as a child. I have stretch marks so bad that my stomach looks like a Hot Wheels roadmap. If you want to see someone naked, go subscribe to someone's OnlyFans. I'm sure they would appreciate it. But with all of that being said, here we go. This is pile number one, pile number two, pile number three, and pile number four. When you're ready, just click your timestamp in the description below and we will get started. Also, really quickly, just pick one per person. These are going to be so vastly different that it could just get confusing. I mean, maybe a person just wants to do all kinds of stuff with you, but there is a group in here like that. So for the best results, just pick one. Now you can pick one per different person if you're thinking about like two or three different people, but just one per person. Okay, I'll see you in your group. Okay, group number one, what is their fantasy? Their fantasy with you is incredibly passionate. And I say that because pretty much every card that came out here is the wand suit, which is very phallic by nature and also represents tons of passion. We have nine of wands, we have the tower, I'll get to that in a second, knight of wands, eight of wands, uh, princess of wands in reverse and we also have temperance I will say I'm already getting the vibes that this is somebody who especially if you're the feminine asking about a masculine wants to masturbate with a woman's body so I would look out for that if that's not your thing to me personally there's nothing more disgusting than looking up at a man thoroughly enjoying himself as if I'm not even there it's disgusting. It's enough to make me make them leave in that moment. Those are the vibes I'm getting from this pile, especially with this. I don't think they're going to last very long with this coming quickly. In fact, if you were to have a good time at all, I think it's going to take you really asserting yourself and telling them what you like and how you like it. And, and they might hear you out and listen to you and try, but honestly, they're more in it for themselves. Like their fantasy is to use you. Okay. Now, you might be into that. You might want to be used. You will see here in a moment. I'm not king shaming in any way, shape, or form. If that's what you're into, go for it, girl. But if that's not what you're not, if that's, if that's not what you're into, then I would highly suggest cutting this person off now or switching to the friend zone because this person wants nothing more than to use your body. But now here's what's sneaky. They are, there's going to be a lot of good conversation leading up to this. Um, so it's almost like they see you as a person that they like hanging out with and they like talking to, but the moment you guys get in the bed, they're going to switch that up and it's just going to be like they're nutting into an empty vessel. I'm grossed out by this pile. Again, if that's what you like, then that's what you should go for. But if you are, um, asking about this person's fantasies because you want a mutual engagement with this person this is not the person for you on the little index cards that i have here we have quickie okay that explains the eight of wands so it could be that they're just after a quickie but i really feel like i'm getting minuteman energy it's like they've built up what this is going to be like in their head so high and it's not about you at all it's all about them and their pleasure so once they get off they're gonna be a, like did you come um not really caring if you did or not, just more so asking for the pleasantry of the whole experience, but like that's bullshit because they don't actually care. They're just asking because they know that they should, but I honestly don't think if you say no that they're going to really want to do anything. It's going to be like half-assed. Half, there's no heart in it. You know what I mean? Okay. We also have head, sloppy, fingering, and head. What? That's not what I meant to do. Oh, a hand job. I meant to write hand job on here. Uh, doggy bimbo kink okay so they see you as stupid <laughs> like they they want they that's what they want they want some like airheaded empty vessel that they can just nut in <clears throat> we'll have scat and i want to talk about this because i me and my best friend wrote these cards and i put this down because i know someone who is super into scat porn like i said we're not kink shaming here i honestly didn't expect for this to come out but here it is i feel like they're into some really um, I almost said weird shit. To me, poop is weird. I mean, in a sexual sense. 
but I feel it's I it's more taboo. It's like they sit around behind their computer screen and watch all this shit that they <laughs> literally <laughs> that they feel like they shouldn't be watching just because it's taboo. Um, but all of that like that strange like mental line of thinking has led them to not see women as people sexually. They see them as objects. This person's more than capable of like seeing you as a person and hanging out with you and having conversation with you as though you're a person which would probably lead you to believe that they are in it for a mutual connection but not the case okay um we have king of swords in reverse i and we have two of cups strangely enough this person is hoping that you're like up to the task okay i i'm not getting anything else in love here and two of cups does represent a perfect partnership but i want you to look at this okay i feel like cards change meanings depending on what they're next to and the context of the reading do you see how the cup beside of her is full and the cup beside of him is empty that further illustrates the point like he's gonna release and you're just gonna be left there like what now he daydreams about the fact that you're gonna be the perfect person to to just dump into <laughs> so gross i'm sorry if you're into this cool cool um towering magnificence yeah look and then we have tower here they want to tower over you like look i mean he is just completely using her and then i don't understand what this is saying maybe you know in some way i mean intuitively i'm getting that this is like the inner like sex demon i feel like this is driven by a source outside of themselves does that make sense now i'm not really trying to speak too heavily on actual demon possession that's not what we're doing here but i do believe that there's a part of their brain that acts up <laughs> when it comes to sex it could be some negative energy attached to them you know or it could just be like an unhealthy line of thinking because i feel like this person has spent so much time watching porn that like normal stuff doesn't do it for them anymore they need to go as weird and as wild and as aggressive and as strange and dirty quote unquote it's like missionary is not going to do anything for this person because they've seen and heard it and done a lot of it actually that's false i'm feeling like they haven't done a lot of it and that's why they're hoping that you're going to be the person that they can finally like look at this he's so bored like he's giving it to her but he's bored and it's like this little like the inner demon here is like fucking chop her head off like this person <laughs> like normal sex doesn't do it for this person anymore because they're so desensitized they have spent so 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 many hours watching porn um that nothing typical is gonna do it for them and so they're really just wanting a body to like perform a lot of experiments on and that's their fantasy with you that's all there is here if you're not into this uh immediately no with this person it's an immediate no you've got to go somewhere else you got to find somebody else um i don't think you're gonna find anything deeper and i think what that's what this card's saying this king of swords um it's almost like you might think that they're just guarded as a person like when you're talking to them but talking to you and like being with you is separate in their mind they can't they can't blend those two together so what the person that you have conversation with that you want more of that you want desperately to connect with is not going to be present in the bedroom so if sex is important to you and being with this person in a sexual way is important to you which i would assume that it is if you are romantically interested in this person and none of this sounds good to you i would just politely move along you know now you know you're in on the secret um this is gonna be bad unless you're into this unless you just want to be used okay because that's really all that's happening and unless you can play the role of like dumb bitch that doesn't have a thought in her head i don't think you're gonna have a good time they're not gonna they're not gonna try and make you have a good time do you know what i mean like they're not gonna put forth any effort into pleasing you this is all about them what they want and as soon as they get off they're gonna be all done and i feel like post nut syndrome with this person is is real and heavy i feel like they're gonna sit there as soon as they've you know came and it's so gross <laughs> like, i'm done i'm done with this pile uh if you're into it that's so good i'm so excited for you but if not cut it off now Okay, uh, I hope I see you in the next one. And thank you for letting me read this for you, I guess. I mean, yes, thank you for coming to me, but this was trash. I'm glad you know, though. And again, if you're into it, yay for you. Okay, bye. Number two, what are their fantasies with you? Okay, 
All right, right off the get-go, this person's in it for your pleasure, okay? Um, but they want to, like, spend you completely. Like, you're going to be tired. I also feel like this person has, like, a dominant side. I mean, obviously, you'll see that here in just a second. But we have Ace of Pentacles coming out. And now this is, like, mind, body, and soul, okay? This is the trifecta taking care of it all. That card's really beautiful. Then we also have Knave of Pentacles where he's just like pouring wine down her body and like giving it to her. What's it called when you drink somebody? Like if you feed somebody, what's it called when someone gives you a drink? It wouldn't be drink somebody. What's that called? Anyways, that's what they, that's what's depicted here on this card. They want to like, um, uh, I don't know. Cause I feel like this is not only just like being sexual and pouring wine in your mouth, but like also like body fluids okay think body fluids and then we have this um the fact that this is in reverse is giving me very much like switch vibes you know like sometimes you're dominant sometimes they're dominant they want they want both roles with you here's where this person is um strange because I'm not able to figure it out quite yet I think I'll be able to we have ten of swords here in regular tarot this talks about self sob so <laughs> self-sabotage or the end of something in this card there's a girl crying and then there's this couple over here so either they want somebody to watch you guys or they're trying to make somebody jealous which is confusing to me with all these other cards because these other cards seem very much um like they're truly in it for the moment like they're truly in it for you but I feel like maybe that stems from another person that they've had in the past and they're going to be doing all the things this other person wanted them to do with them. Maybe subconsciously. I'm not picking up on the fact that it's necessarily intentional, but it's like, I feel like their other relationship had some problems and so they're trying to rectify those and it's everything this other person wanted and they're, and they're giving it to you. But I, I believe that that's mostly self-conscious. And then again, we have the woman her fluids pouring on the man's chest. They're going to be very centered around your pleasure. Let's see. What is this? Four of cups. Yeah. Again, I feel like there's, there's something to do with a, another person. I'm going to keep going and see what else we have. All right. 69. Role play. Harder. Pull my hair. Littles. Okay. And this is just the way that I wrote this on this card but essentially what I mean is like because I didn't I didn't want to talk about like the p word but you know like a playing down your age we'll put it that way because I don't think it's a p word kink I think it's just a they like younger women or it's the woman who likes a younger man there's some there's an age difference here okay but we also have breeding kinks so this is the like Tell me you want a baby in you. I'm putting a baby in you. That kind of thing. This is so interesting. Okay, a gag on my cock. <laughs> Eye contact. Squirt. But that makes sense with all these cards about the body fluids. Um, it's almost like they want you to drink yourself. Or they want to drink your fluids. And then we have missionary. Um, heart of the moment. Yeah, I really feel like all of this about the other person is subconscious. I don't think that they realize, it's like they're gonna go extra hard for you, extra good for you to compensate for the problems that they had in their past relationship. Now, I'll let you to deduce, do what? I'll let you deduce if that's a problem for you. For some people, it's gonna be a problem. For some people, it's not. Um, but I don't think, oh, this is getting a little deep. Okay, <laughs> we have Eight of Cups in reverse. So it's like they walked away from this past relationship to find something better. Um, but I think that they're realizing to a certain degree that they were the problem because we have oppression here. And then we also have four of cups. They weren't seeing what they had in front of them with this other person. So there is a little bit of, um, what's the word? <laughs> Emotions attached to this other person in some degree. But I do believe, no, I don't think that they've moved on. We have four of arrows in reverse and we have innocence in reverse. So it's like you guys can't truly have a new beginning or like I'm in, not a new beginning, but a start. You guys can't truly get started and you guys can't truly in the moment 
because we have heart in the moment. In the moment, this person is going to be very much about you, very engaged in the experience, very much with you and connected with you. But outside of the bedroom, they are still emotionally connected to this other person. So it's almost like, and it's a weird subconscious thing that they're doing. They're trying to prove themselves to this other person by being really good in bed with you. Now, obviously, unless they call this ex up and be like, guess who I just gave it to really good. They're never going to know. So this person's not consciously doing this but they are doing it so i would this is guaranteed to be a fantastic night um when you guys do sleep together because all of their fantasies are surrounded on your pleasure and making you feel good but it's to compensate for the fact that they didn't do it in their last relationship and i really feel like most of that is is ego centered you know like oh they finally dropped me because i wasn't doing what i know i can do so i'm gonna go and do it with this other person and they're not gonna get this because they've already dropped me do you see what i'm saying so if you are wanting to know this person's sexual fantasies because you are in love with them and you want to share a deep emotional connection with them long term i would say that's not looking likely right now um, because as soon as it's over and as soon as they've seen what a good job they've done for you, they're going to get back in their head about like, how can I make sure my ex finds out about this? And again, that's not really ever going to happen because of the nature of what we're talking about. But it's a, it's just weird shit that they're thinking. Does that make sense? And it's not necessarily like based around, I feel like this person wants to do it with you multiple times. Like they see you as a long-term thing like somebody that they could be with over and over again because we have a whole lot of different styles here um and again there's the whole like baby thing and the eye contact like in the moment it's gonna feel so special and it's gonna feel so connective like it would be easy for you and I'm thinking from a female brain here It'd be easy for you to fall in love with them based on what they're like in bed. But that is the only time you're going to get that connectivity right now because they are consumed with this other person. I mean, Missionary 69, role play. There's so much that they want to do. Like they can, they can really see themselves having a great sex life with you, but emotionally, they're not emotionally available unless they're in the bed. So that's all that I have. Um, I plan on doing these every Monday if you want to come check out more. But other than that, thank you so much. And I hope that I will see you in the next one. Group number three, what are their fantasies with you? We have contemplation in reverse, three of wands in reverse, three of cups in reverse, prince of cups in reverse, two of pentacles. Are you guys friends? I feel like you guys are friends. Definitely. I imagine you guys sneaking off whenever you're all hanging out. This is so specific. So if you aren't in a situation like this where you guys have like a mutual friend group where you all hang out and you guys aren't mostly just friends or a situationship, I would say is a perfect word for this, then I'd click another group because like I said, this is super specific. They think about being with you quite often, but to them, their thoughts are forbidden because they're like, I don't know, like, do I wanna cross that line? Do I not wanna cross that line? Because here we have three of cups in reverse. Um, so they're thinking like this could hurt our friendship. And then we have three of cups upright where it's like, okay, but maybe it could enhance our friendship. Like maybe we could be friends with benefits. I feel like they're a little bit worried um, about falling in love with you, but they don't really have anything to offer you. However, they do get insanely jealous over you. Now, I know that you've asked about sexual fantasies, but there's just a whole lot of tea coming out on the nature of the relationship. They get so incredibly jealous over you. Um, they don't want you with anybody else because they know deep down that they do want you. But again, I think because if it's not like a mutual friend group, I think you guys are just very close friends. Or again, in a situationship where it's like, maybe you've done it before and you know, maybe things got complicated for a while and they would like to do that again, but they're not sure if they can put their heart on the line for you. I feel like the, uh, I don't know if they really have feelings for you. You know what? Maybe they do because we have the lovers coming out. Now this does depict two women. So it's possible that like they really enjoy being single and they really enjoy like going off and doing whatever they want to do. And they feel like if they keep having sex with you, then they're going to have to give that up because they enjoy spending time with you. And because you're such good friends, I don't think that they would want to hurt you. 
Um, and in, they're, they're hoping that they don't have to deal with this. They're hoping that you're going to come to them with a sexual invitation. We have three of staves here, which really just talks about, uh, the ships coming into sail, like waiting for your, the ships to come in and see, this is her approaching him. And then we have two of pinnacles. So this is kind of like, she, you know, she's got her back turned and he's like, Oh, but I want you. So he has a good time daydreaming about the way this is going to happen and when it's going to happen. Um, if you do have a mutual friend group, like they imagine you guys sneaking off and like, you know, banging one out real quick and then coming back to the party like nothing ever happened and you guys don't talk about it. Like they kind of enjoy it being a secret. But let's get to what I wrote down on the index cards and see what this person really wants. Okay, we have soft kisses, lights on, high sex. I feel like they would, they want to have high sex A because high sex is great, but also because it gives you guys an excuse. If you are friends, like gives you an excuse to be like, oh, I wasn't really in the like the right state of mind. Something to blame it on later. Kitchen sex, kinky, spank me, strangers, hot wax, praise, cougars. This person's crazy. Okay. Knife play and candles. What a mixture. <sighs> I feel like because you guys are friends and you have that like baseline of respect for each other as people on this earth, it gives them freedom to explore things that they're into that they wouldn't necessarily venture into with other people. And I think that that's why, okay, I feel like they feel like they can have sex with you in the way that they would have sex with a stranger does that make sense like there's certain things that they couldn't see themselves doing when they're in a relationship with someone because it's taboo or because it's like not necessarily what their nature is all the time like maybe it's just something that they want to try out and they can only see themselves doing that with a stranger but because you guys have that baseline friendship they do feel like they could explore that with you however they want to keep that separate, which is why I think they go back and forth of would this ruin our friendship or would this enhance our friendship? I mean, these are the things that they could think about. Um, I feel like I feel like they fantasize sort of about like a maybe a threesome situation between you and an older woman if you're the feminine. Um, I'm assuming, you know, please, if you're a man, comment on this video. I look at my audience and it's like 99 percent women so I tend to do videos for women but anyways I'll do more for men if you guys are watching but it's like on one hand they want to see your body they want to kiss you softly like they want to treat you like a friend they want to praise you they want to just I don't know admire you and that's the friendship the part of them that loves and respects you coming out but on the other hand they want to like get into all this naughty stuff and then you guys giggle about it like high school be best friends gossip or something I'm not saying that you're in high school I, well, I, you might be if you're 18 I have this age restricted though but anyways it's like it can be your little secret like it's something that you guys don't talk about you just sneak away and do and like none of your other friends know and it's not necessarily that they are trying to keep this a secret like oh nobody can know but it's more fun that way does that make sense not okay it's not that they're embarrassed or ashamed necessarily although they would be embarrassed and ashamed for some people to know that they want to do these things but that's not why they want to keep it from the friend group. Not because they're embarrassed or ashamed, but just because it's cute that you guys share this little secret and you can like snicker about it and like, you know, oh, well, they both went to go get punch or whatever. And like your friends would be none the wiser. It really gets them off. So that's the situation here. Those are the fantasies. Um, if you want more information, I plan on doing these every Monday now because I'm going to be doing more. So thank you and I will see you in the next one. Okay, group number four and I'm so excited about this one because so many cards came out and I had no intention of getting this many cards but they just kept coming out so I feel like this is about to be highly juicy. Okay, so we have seven of wands. Oh, <laughs> this is one of those messy connections, isn't it? Four of pentacles, uh, seven of cups, what is this? Justice. Ten of Cups. Oh my God. Queen of Cups. Two of Staves. You guys can't make up your mind. I feel like you guys are in one of those connections where it's off and on. Um, where, you know, it's passionate and then you fight. <laughs> Seven of Wands is, um, we're in this deck. 
look, it's like she's all into it, but his mind is somewhere else. What's he thinking about? He's not in this moment. Not that he can't be. He is sometimes. But he's not always sure he wants this. But yet, it's everything he's ever wanted. And that gets in the way of a lot of the sexual fantasies he has for you. He feels like there's no, or she, justice in this situation. And we're going to get to the specific fantasies in a second, but this is a message that's dying to come out and maybe something that you needed to know. It's like, he sits around and daydreams about this all the time and, and freaks out at the prospect that anybody else would ever have it. Like, he truly wants to, like, worship your body and really be in the moment with you. And he thinks about it constantly. But the second this actually happens in real life, it's like his head immediately goes somewhere else. I think to protect himself or to protect herself. Um, I really feel like if there are any men watching, I feel like in the other groups, I wasn't really picking up on the energy. But I do feel like some masculines are watching. Again, I don't always mean gender. I do mean masculine and feminine. But this is a two-way street like this could also be the female like thinking about this like wanting this but like the second it's there it's like whoo okay um we also have ten of cups and we have queen of cups and two of this this right here talks about like not necessarily knowing what to do like do i go down this path or do i go down this path which one's gonna lead me to the desired outcome uh so much passion here though but I feel like this isn't, I do feel like it's so much passion in the bedroom. I feel like you guys have maybe done this before, or at least you've messed around or toyed around with the idea, but it's like, they can't always see you as this sexual being because they also see you as this very soft, you know, feminine. We have, she is the moon person where it's like it doesn't make sense for them in their brain for you to be both and this could work for the feminine as well if you're a masculine asking about the feminine it's like she has a hard time seeing you as this sexual man and then also the other side it's the, it's like the sexual side and the, like the everyday life side are are very split between these two people whether you're a masculine or a feminine i'm i'm hoping this is me i have so many messages coming through my brain right now uh let me move on to what's on these cards maybe that'll help us taste yourself tantric yes this is so deep this is like um i think you got i think that their fantasy is to make love with you um, and that would be one of the only ways that they can see themselves merging, like, the sexual side and the everyday side. Like, I don't feel like it makes sense with this person to, to view you as this, like, wild beast, <laughs> like, sexually. It's like they want to slow it down. I mean, I'm not saying it's got to be vanilla. Oh, let's just see. We have foreplay. Yeah, see, not, not vanilla. We have restriction and bondage. And what came to mind when I read this isn't necessarily, um, I feel like for some of you, it's going to be like whips and chains and shit. But for a lot of you, it's just kind of like when they like grab your wrist and like pin you up like that. The pressure of it all is what they're after. Strip tease. Um, yeah, I have a card written down here. I'm actually not going to read that, but I will just say that this whole, like, the pressure of it all, like, holding you down, definitely. Marathon. Uh, <laughs> what? Okay, I think, okay, 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 here's what's happening. This person typically l likes really weird shit, okay? Because we have... And I feel like this is going to be different for everybody. I feel like that's why so many cards came out. Because maybe a lot of you have picked on this group because you have the same dynamic going on. But when it comes to the sex stuff, like, there's a lot of messages here. Okay, so ah, basically what's happening is this person typically does a lot of freaky shit. Like, a lot of really weird shit. And that doesn't make sense to do with you. Okay, like, yes, they're fantasies and, like, typically what they go for is very strange or not strange. I'm not king shaming here, but out of the usual, not vanilla. But with you, it's like, 
there's love here and there's so much passion here and it doesn't make sense for them to behave in the way they typically would in the bedroom which is i think why they feel so so vulnerable um because they don't understand why they want to make love with you because that's what it is they want to make love with you but then they're like well what happens if we make love they don't know what to do they don't know what to do about you <laughs> okay blood whips and chains what else came out your pleasure so focused on your pleasure fisting and double penetration and hentai man see and it just doesn't go with a lot of this like making love and i think that that's why they can't decide like what to do they're like, do I have, do I sleep with this person and experience a whole new world and see if I like that? Or do I not sleep with this person and continue doing my freaky shit? Now you might be saying we could do freaky shit too, but in their mind, it's impossible for them to merge these two. In the water. In the water, virgin. They see you as this innocent thing, even though that may not be the case. Like to them, you're like, um... I hate to say untainted because if you had sex, you're not tainted. But in their mind, it's like this very innocent, like pure, you're, you're like an innocent and pure person. Like they don't want to defile you, <laughs> even though that's typically like the kind of things that they do and they don't see it as defiling the other person in that situation with you. They would see this craziness as, I mean, craziness, but this as defiling you. Okay. We have edging, inhale me slow tease and firm but tender see that's what they want with you they do want that like the firm but tenderness and they 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 want to i mean they just want to go slow they want to act like it's the first time either of you have had sex and like really connect on like a deep level but it's like this whole other side of their life it's just like they've never done this before and i feel like this person gets really awkward around you if sex does get brought up or um they might act like they don't necessarily want to do things with you but they think about it a lot i mean they're i mean constantly and they just don't know what to do like i said we have two of wands and we have justice here i would check back in next week let the energy move around a little bit i'm gonna try and do these saucy ones every monday or something they're mostly just doing a whole lot of thinking and they're not gonna act on anything that also explains this <laughs> like why when you're finally in their arms their head somewhere else because they're overthinking the whole thing hardcore or they're never gonna get to that point where you guys are about to engage in sex because they they're overthinking that like i wouldn't even know what to do if i got them in the bed even though they desperately want to it's I, it's so strange they're split they don't know what to think they, they can't they can't combine it all so that's all um, I don't know that that was super helpful. Some weird energy came out here. But again, I am going to try and do these every Monday. And I do hope that I will see you in the next one. And thank you for letting me read your cards.